this beautiful caterpillar could be coming to somewhere near you. It may already even be here. This is the larva of the striped hawk moth and there's been a big invasion into the UK by the striped hawk moth in these past few weeks. Nottinghamshire is without a record of the striped hawk moth. Maybe 2022 could change that. This beautiful caterpillar, it's certainly the, the brightest and most colourful caterpillar that I've reared. This is the larva of the striped hawk moth, which is a beautiful migrant moth to the UK. It's had a bump a year and there's been many records this year of striped hawk moth. Some have even made it in land. I think Derbyshire's just had a record and maybe Leicestershire too. Unfortunately, Knott hasn't joined in the fun, or at least no records have been made public if one has occurred at all. There are no striped hawk moth records for Nottinghamshire, which is quite surprising because it's more regular a migrant than the silver striped hawk moth, and Nottinghamshire does at least have one of those and single records of oleander hawk moth. But what a fabulous caterpillar this is. It's a large species. This caterpillar is larger than I thought it was going to get, to be honest. We're looking nearly four inches in length here, and this one is virtually full grown. And it's continuing to eat profusely. These do have quite good appetites, but it's a stunning species. Now, I'll turn it round so we can see it side on. The head is quite unusual. And then you have the head is black and then you have this like thoracic plate which is really profound I've never seen this before so profoundly in caterpillars but it's just the markings and the coloration you've got that sort of jet black line that goes down and then this little horizontal lines that come off that but then on the sides you've got the yellow line and then you've got that broken sort of brick red and cream colored line that runs along the sides. The rest of the caterpillar is speckled with canary yellow. It really is a truly stunning caterpillar. I can't wait to see the moth. Striped hawk moth, like many migrant moths, is the stuff of my childhood dreams from rearing caterpillars. When you rear hawk moth caterpillars from the UK, there's only a limit to how long lime, poplar and eyed hawk can provide entertainment, as beautiful as they are. There's just one other caterpillar that I want to rear, and that's the caterpillar of the Spurge hawk moth, which is equally, if not more, beautifully marked than this species. I mentioned a little while ago in this video that this species has yet to turn up in Nottinghamshire but if any year is worth looking for the larva of this species then 2022 has to be it following the numbers that have arrived across southern counties of the UK and up southeastern coastal areas there's every chance this caterpillar could be found in Nottinghamshire this year if looked for the adult moth, hopefully, may well turn up at somebody's light trap later in the year. But it's worth looking for these. The larvae do feed on various bed straws. They'll eat rose bay, willow herb and even docks. And with it being such a large and conspicuously and well-marked caterpillar, this larva may well get noticed by members of the public.
As I like to say now, what an absolute stonker this is. So, if you're wandering around the Nottinghamshire countryside, or even in your garden, checking on your prized fuchsias, keep a lookout for these. You never know. There's every chance that the moth has occurred in Nottinghamshire during the course of this spring. So check those fuchsias in your garden, those docks around where you walk. That rose bay willow herb on the waste ground and bed straws in that heathland and woodland. They could be anywhere, these lava. And what a beautiful lava to find. There's not much to get the heart racing that's better than this. So then where would you look to find this caterpillar? Well, being a migrant species and having the such common food plants such as rose bay willow herb and dock and various bed straws, you just basically can look wherever those plants occur. I believe it might also feed on fuchsia as well, so fuchsia's in your garden. If you notice them being eaten, aside from the beautiful elephant hawk moth, it could be this. But what a species to find. As much as I'm enjoying rearing these, having the opportunity to rear these at home, I would still jump with joy. Well, as high as you can jump when you're 16 stone with joy at finding one of these. It's possible. I'm filming this at Clipston Old Quarter. And I think it was 2005 when I came across a full-grown bedstraw hawk moth caterpillar. There's every chance and no reason why this year, if I spend enough time searching, I couldn't come across striped hawk moth. And what a thing to find, eh?